In our first video from the Cook Islands, we made our way to Rarotonga, greeted with a local smile, and woke up in absolute paradise. Look at all the blues. <laughs> <laughs> the colours are incredible. The weather was mint, it was our first day, Sundays are super casual on the island anyway, so we spent it just enjoying the beach, hanging out in the sun. Sadly, the one thing you can't control when you're on holiday is the weather, and we learned that pretty quickly on the second day, so we kind of just had to come up with the best plan that we could to do our best to show off just how special Rarotonga is, even without the sun. Welcome back to the Cook Islands. We would love to say that it's sunny, um, <laughs> sunny Cook Islands. It's not. But it's a tropical island, so we've got to expect a couple of tropical storms. This morning was, or is, particularly tropically yes. and stormy. We planned on getting a scooter and driving around the island. We think we'll probably get a car, because if this is going to be the case for the week, it's probably not going to be the best idea. Yeah. So we think it's too early for alcohol so we can't really like just sit around and drink so we thought we might as well make the most of it and we're gonna go snorkel in the rain. I don't think there's too many places in the world you can visit that still look this beautiful. <laughs> there's like a boat crew still going on out there and you can hear the drums they're all singing. Yeah there's not too many places in the world that can look this beautiful even when it's raining and completely overcast. No blue in the sky but yeah, it still looks really awesome. I just realized as well, it's actually completely stopped raining right after we filmed that little bit and talked about how wet it was. So maybe we've waited it out for long enough. Now we're just gonna head up to, this is the beach hut area. This is where you can hire um, stand up paddle boards, there's kayaks, there's all your snorkeling gear and everything is all kind of in one place. This is the scene here. It's really clear. Ooh, it's silly though. Oh, there's some colorful fish down there. We don't really even have to go far, like quite literally the beach is right, the beach is right here. We've just been snorkeling in this area, but because it's been a bit rainy, I think um, it's a bit murky, the visibility isn't really that great. But there's some really cool fish there and we can probably go, well, I'm assuming we can go all the way out to the brack wall. So we'll probably have to do that at some stage, but now that the weather's cleared up a little bit, we're gonna head inside, get changed so that we can go and explore some more of the island. But we've got to try and rent a car first. All right, we've spent enough time in the resort. It's time to go Captain Cook exploring. Yes, the island's so small. Rarotonga is teeny tiny. I think it only takes like 45 minutes to get around the whole island. So 32 kilometers. 32 k's. Yeah, but yeah, based on small. the speed that everybody drives at, I think it's more like an hour because people drive yeah, true. slow here. They're on island time. They totally are. I said Captain Cook exploring because Captain Cook, well, the Cook Islands are named after Captain Cook. Did you know that? Yeah, I did, because you oh. told me that. Okay. <laughs> he visited here once, and so, it's, yeah, it's been named after him. So we're going to follow in his footsteps. We're on our way to get a car. There's a few different places that we can go to. There's Avis right here, and then there's a more local one just down the road, which yeah. I think we'll go scope out first. Plus, we, al we, always, we also need to get um, a SIM card. Yes, that's so a good point. So, luckily, there is a Vodafone <laughs> just across the road from us. I can see the side right now. <laughs> so we might go do that first. Yeah, I think that's a better idea, because then we can kind of... Map, yeah. although it's literally one road around pretty much, but that should be easy enough. Can we also have a, a dog with us in the car? <laughs> they come with the car. <laughs> that was easy? Super easy. So that was $49 for a traveler sim, which is Three gigs of data, 30 minutes, and 300 texts. But my favorite part about the whole thing is that Dane's phone number is literally five digits long. <laughs> like, there must just not be that many people that have phone numbers. Like, what, how is it so short? I don't know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's so funny. 
It's also easy for us because of the ties with New Zealand. They use New Zealand dollars. Oh yeah. So yeah. it's really straightforward for us to obviously not even to consider anything. But they've got these really cool two dollar coins oh, triangle yes. two dollar coins so there's one coin and one note that i think that are unique to the cook islands so we have to use them before we go home but it's nice and easy for us i like seeing this guy though <laughs> he's cool well that was really easy to sort only 35 new zealand dollars a day plus $20 for the insurance or the excess reduction <laughs> yeah, we... because she was like the um, lady that worked there was so funny she was like oh because we kind of were like oh do we do like we? travel insurance will cover yeah. the kind of excess and we were just kind of trying to figure out whether we were going to do it and she goes oh but what if a coconut falls on your car and I was like oh could okay. be a dog that runs out could and be a chicken she starts like escalating she's like could be a piglet and starts like getting to these cuter and cuter animals until we caved and we were like okay give us the insurance we'll just pay the $20 extra well that's per day as well so we paid more than we need to I think but it's still so cheap to rent a car here yeah and because like we can do it all in a day and now we can transfer between um, resorts which we're moving yes. tomorrow to another one and if it's raining I'm trying to justify it all now but it's gonna be fun yeah. we just need to go and get some food first sounds like a beast brum, brum. all right so we were gonna get a scooter but the rules now for driving scooters oh I put the handbrake on it was actually Ooh. off <laughs> The rules for driving scooters, sorry, the brakes are very sensitive. The rules for driving scooters are a lot stricter now than they used to be. You actually have to go to the police station and pay to sit a theory and a practical test. Um, whereas when I came here like eight years ago, whatever it was, they were like, can you drive down to that cone and back? And I was like, went down and around it and they were like, yeah, you're good. I'll, I'll deal with these people. So it would have been a lot cheaper but we've gone for the car option. And because of the weather. Oh, your sunglasses are gone. All right, let's go. Oh, so much happening. so friendly and so slow though. Oh, everything is just at a way slower pace. When you make it, when you order something, when you buy something, anything. Even the ATM was like, yeah, I mean the, the, the Air Force. <laughs> the Air Force machine takes a while to be like, no, okay, I guess it can go through. <laughs> Huge. Huge. Oh my goodness. This one no onion, this one onion. Oh, ah, thank you so much. Can you see how big this is? We did not need two things. The food is so big and the, the pricing is actually surprisingly cheap, isn't it? Like this was $29 and that's for a Coke and like a family size sandwich with fish in it. And we just got a beef burger, but don't really know why. This is the biggest sandwich I've ever seen in my entire life. It's literally like we're hanging out in the jungle almost, isn't it? I know. Like it's just so, tro well, tropical jungle, we should say. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's just started to rain a little bit again, but I like how relaxing this place is. I'm walking slower. <laughs> Everything. We don't particularly like that meal. That was a little bit underwhelming. The fish was chewy. Shouldn't be the case. This is the most casual place I think we've probably ever traveled, don't you think? It's so crazy. There's these guys that just went past and they've had a dog following them for the last like 10 minutes or so. We saw them go past the cafe and then we've caught up to them. There's roosters on the road. Literally, we had a bunch of roosters come right across in front of the car. And as we're driving along, every now and then there's like a resort or a small cafe or something, but a lot of it is still very much like just coast, just completely like this. And there is nothing for 
like as far as the eye can see. But we're on the beach and we're so close now to the break wall. These waves, I don't know if you can surf them properly in terms of how deep it is, but they look so vicious. We've only got one wiper blade as well. <laughs> Putting that single blade on. Yeah, getting that real good uh, window wipe going. It's worse when you actually put them on. <laughs> I do have to say though, I feel a little bit, um, I feel a little bit gutted that it's not warm, that it's not sunny. It is warm, it's just raining. I just don't know if we're, I don't feel like we're putting like Rarotonga's best foot forward because we're not, we're not given the chance to like properly you know, capture it in the way that maybe we had hoped that we might. Maybe, but at the same time it's sort of like, well, you know, now we've got wheels, now I've got a car and we can kind of adapt. Do do other stuff that we didn't kind of plan on doing. That's true, that's true. cruising around so we picked up some road snacks. Twisties, only the best chips in the world. I don't know if everybody knows about twisties, I don't think you can get them overseas. They're made in New Zealand, they are a cheese flavoured corn snack. And they are absolutely delicious. I think if I had to compare them to something that people might know about, they're kind of like um, Cheetos. Cheetos. A little bit. Similar to Cheetos. Yeah. So rather than just drive around and feel like tourists, we heard about this place called Trader Jack's, which is uh, apparently a mixture between a touristy kind of bar and a joint that locals go to. And we've just pulled up now and the, the ocean out here is like wild. It's heaving. Wild. And there are boys swimming out here. They're crazy for being out there when it's that rough. They're absolutely crazy. It's so ruthless, but this bar is right on the corner and the waves are just crashing up against it. So we think we're just gonna stop and just have a drink and just kind of like settle into this local vibe and see what it looks like. 